Hey, this is Tan Man doing what I love, and I'm super excited because tomorrow starts the new season of NFL football. I cannot wait. And with that being said, I'm going to be doing a series every Wednesday where I predict the upcoming NFL week. The website I'm using is called PlayoffPredictors.com. Uh, you can, you know, basically choose what team you think is going to win. And the cool thing about this website is, as the season goes on, you'll kind of see um, basically the records of how I think the teams will do. So basically at the start of every um, video, I'll make my predictions, and then um, next episode, I'll briefly go over what um, games I got right, what I got wrong, and any major things that happened in games like, oh, wow, I didn't see this coming, stuff like this. And also, guys, leave your um, comments like, comments below of uh, who you think is going to win um, and what matchups you think are going to be the best. So let's kick off here with the first game of the season, that being a classic NFC North rivalry, the Packers and the Bears. I think the Packers are going to do really well this season with the new head coach, Matt LaFleur, and his new offensive scheme, but I think the Bears are going to win this game. I think this is going to be a great game, and I just think Chicago having home field advantage will, I think, kind of lend themselves to um, a win, and I think that, you know, the last time the Bears played a game, they had that missed field goal out there, and I just think the Bears are going to win this game. I think it will be extremely close, but I just think that I like Chicago more. Um, so then we have all the NFC games. So um, We have a divisional game, the Eagles and the Redskins. Um, I think the Eagles are going to win. Um, I think that this game is going to be by at least two scores. I think Washington's roster is just not great. Case Keenum is starting. He's not the best quarterback. He's average at best. I think Eagles will win, say, I think 34-17. Panthers and Rams. Um, for me, Cam Newton's healthy, ready to go, but I think LA's a better team. I know they didn't look that good in the Super Bowl, but they have one of the most complete rosters in the NFL. I think they'll win by um, at least seven points. Next up, we go to, I think, guys, what could be a game of the week, Falcons and Vikings. You have Julio Jones, Matt Ryan, uh, Devontae Freeman, that amazing offense against a really good defense. I think Kirk Cousins and the Vikings will play really good this year. It's close. I feel like... Just because, oh man, this is difficult. I just think that, I'm going to go with the Falcons. I think the road team's going to get done. I think it'll be close, but I think that for me, I like the Falcons a bit more. Um, next we have 49ers, Buccaneers. For me, this comes down to that the 49ers defensive line is really good. You have guys like Nick Bosa, uh, DeForest Buckner, and I think those guys are going to overpower the Buccaneers all line. I think the Buccaneers will score some points, but I think the 49ers are going to win just because the Tampa Bay all line is weak, and I think the 49ers defensive line will crush that. I think the 49ers offense will be okay, but I think the D-line will be enough to get the win. This is a really interesting game, Lions and Cardinals. The first game of Kyler Murray's career, the rookie quarterback, and I think Arizona is going to win. I think it'll be by a field goal. I just think because NFL teams have no tape on this new Arizona offense, I think the Cardinals are going to win. I think they'll be extremely close. The Lions have a really good roster, but I think the Cardinals will win. I could see this game going either way. I think it'll be a very exciting game. Giants and Cowboys. Cowboys, one of the best teams in the NFC roster-wise. I think they are going to win. Um, I think Seiko and Barkley would do well, but I just think the Cowboys have a better roster. Now we have the AFC versus NFC games of the week. Seahawks-Bengals. I think the Seahawks are... You know, a really good team. Russell Wilson is great. I don't really trust Andy Dalton. Um, the Seahawks defense is really good. I think Chris Carson's going to ruin all of the Bengals. I think the Seahawks win. I'm going to say 30-13. to 13. I think it'll be a pretty big win for Seattle. This is going to be a really great game. Texans-Saints Monday Night Football. Uh, you have DeAndre Hopkins and Deshaun Watson going up against Drew Brees and Michael Thomas. So I think it's going to come down to the defense, and I think these Saints are going to win. I think they have a better defense. Marshawn Lattimore, Cameron Jordan, Marcus Williams, and the Texans just trade away one of their best players, Jadavion Clowney, to the Seahawks. So I think these Saints will win. I think it will be a very high-scoring game, but I think these Saints' defense is better. Now we have the AFC games, Titans-Browns. For me, I'm going to go with the Browns. I think that this game will be around seven points. It just comes down to the Titans' left tackle, Taylor Lewan is suspended for a couple of games this season. I think um, the Browns' edge rusher Miles Garrett is going to feast on that. I think the Browns are going to win. I don't know how Odell and Baker Mayfield are going to do. I think it'll give them a game or two to warm up. I could see this being a very defensive game. This is a difficult game um, um, because I like the Ravens, and I think Miami's roster is not that good. But it's just, I don't know about Lamar Jackson. For me, I don't. 
And, you know, Ryan Fitzpatrick's a starter. We've seen him do some magic things. Even that being said, I think the Ravens will win. I think the defense, or Thomas, I think those guys will be able to contain the Dolphins. Um, Chiefs, Jaguars, I think the Chiefs offense is going to be too much for Jacksonville to handle. I think Nick Foles and the offense will look good, but I think Mahomes is going to be too much. Bills and Jets, two really underrated teams in the AFC East. For me, this is really difficult because I really like the Bills. Um, I like the D-line. I like Josh Allen. But the Jets also have good players. They got C.J. Mosley from the Ravens. They got Le'Veon Bell from the Steelers. For me, I think that um, you know this is an AFC East um, division game. So that means the Bills and Jets will play each other twice a year. And I think the Jets will win this game. And I think the next time these two teams meet, it will be the Bills getting the win. Chargers Colts, if Andrew Luck was still playing, I would give it to the Colts. He is not. I think the Chargers are a really good team. Even if Melvin Gordon doesn't play, they're still one of the best teams. Pittsburgh, New England. Um, this is when the Patriots are going to win, uh, reveal the Super Bowl banner. banner. I think there's going to be a lot of hype. Um, but between that game, I think the Patriots will win 33-24. I think it will be something like that. Somewhat close, but I think New England will just have the lead in that. Denver and Oakland. Oh, man, this is difficult because Denver, you know, they have Von Miller, Bradley Chubb, Chris Harris, really great defensive players. Joe Flacco, you know, is a good quarterback. I just feel like the Ravens are going to get an upset at Oakland. Antonio Brown, I feel like it's going to be a very interesting game. I think um, Oakland's going to win, kind of pull off an upset here. So that, guys, is the Week 1 predictions. I think, for me, the game, um, the games of the week is going to be this Bears-Packers game. I think this Falcons-Vikings game is going to be really entertaining. I think this one, Commerce debut, will be fun to watch. Um, I think the Saints-Texans is going to be a high-scoring affair. I think Patriots-Steelers um, is going to be really fun. I think Denver-Oakland could have some upsets. Well, guys, this is Minutemen doing a look. I'll see you guys next time for Week 2. Bye-bye.